Today I will be discussing a refusal for entry to the United States on a TN visa application under what is commonly referred to as 212A7AI. Welcome back, my name is Jeremy Richards, an immigration lawyer with the Law Offices of Richards and Drusick, where we solely practice U.S. immigration law. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the like button, hit the notification button so you're aware of additional videos that are coming out and so that other people out there that are looking for similar content can find it. Also, below in this video, you'll find links to helpful information about this topic as well. On to the question at hand. What is a 212A7AI refusal when you're applying for a TN visa application? Often people get confused when they get refused for a TN visa. And the officer may not give you all of the information. Uh, officers are notorious for that. They only provide limited information to you as to the reason why they're refusing your application, and then they turn you away. And sometimes they'll give you a statement of your interaction with them that details the questions that they asked you as well as your answers. And in this scenario, the officer often gives you the opportunity to withdraw your application. And then when you withdraw your application under 212 and 212 A7AI, uh, there are generally two reasons why the officer is refusing your TN visa application. One is they think you are an intending immigrant. What is an intending immigrant? Well, TN visa status is what is considered non-immigrant status. In other words, you need to be coming to the United States for a temporary reason. You're not coming here permanently. You're only coming for this job opportunity. You're gonna maintain your ties and permanent residence in Canada. And at the end of this job opportunity, you're going to return back home. If the officer thinks otherwise, that either you don't have strong enough ties to Canada or it's your full intention to come here to immigrate and to live permanently, they can refuse you as an intending immigrant. And that's one of the common reasons that you would get refused under 212A7AI. The other reason, common reason for refusal under this category is that you simply don't have sufficient documentation. You could be coming to the United States to work in TN status, However, you, don't, you didn't have your degree with you. You didn't have the proper supporting, the support letter with you. You are lacking the necessary information to prove that you qualify for the status that you are requesting to enter the United States. In other words, you, didn't, you don't have the proper visa status in order to enter the United States to do what you're proposing that you want to do. Both of these reasons are curable. You are able to obtain relief and re-enter the United States without the need of a waiver. There is not a waiver available for this reason of refusal. You would simply return to the port of entry with the necessary documentation to overcome the reason for the refusal. So for example, if you refused as an intending immigrant, we would need to return to the port of entry with proper documentation to show that it is not your intent to immigrate to the United States, that your intent is temporary, that you are maintaining your ties and your intent to return to your home country after your temporary visit to the United States. And there's a long, there's a long list of documents that can be used to overcome that. If you were refused because you didn't have the proper paperwork to justify the issuance of the visa, we would return with the missing evidence or sufficient proof that you do qualify. Maybe your support letter didn't have detailed enough duties. Maybe you didn't bring your original degree with you. There are various reasons why they could refuse you for not having the proper paperwork to justify the issuance of the visa. Both of these are common reasons for refusal when people are not adequately prepared to apply for TN status. If you have any other questions about TN visa status or U.S. immigration law in general, we'd be glad to help you out. We solely practice U.S. immigration law and, are, and can help with most immigration issues. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the like button, hit the notification button. Also, look below for resources about this and other U.S. immigration law topics. Thank you for watching and have a great day.